We had a genius in the comment section of the last video who said, why didn't you just grow crops inside the barn, seeing as it's the right temperature to grow crops in? That's a great question. Why am I not growing crops inside the barn that's the perfect temperature to grow crops in? You're a genius. Um, we could... Oh, I know why. Because there's... <laughs> in hindsight, you're not a genius. It's dark in there. Crops don't grow well in the dark. I could build sun lamps, I suppose. Uh, there's no real downside to that, is there? Make some, make some internal farms. We might as well try and cover as much of it as we can, but only grow in the area we actually can cover. So we'll put one there, and we'll put one... Uh, we'll put one there, or, or we could, could we could go there, I suppose. So basically, the only area we're missing out on then is like these very top corners. That's a good idea. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, we'll try that then. Now, the downside is sunlight's use up a shit ton of power, but luckily, last episode, we just finished water mill generators. We should be at least be able to build one or two of these. Um, let's get like... Oh, man, we need to get them as close to the base as possible, but so that we're not where they're completely undefendable. Put one there and one there. That seems fair to me. Let's get them linked up with power conduits. And in fact, what I'll do is, oh, can we just about do that? I'm trying to conserve as many resources as possible here. Um, let's go like that. Run that to there. And then run that straight to the base. Problem solved. Uh, relations with the Red Stork Color Samba have decreased. That's not what that says at all, but that's how I'm saying it. And Ted Loner Man's Confederation. Nice. No whamming allowed. Thank you, Ted. Yup. Oh, God. Man hunting red foxes. They're hungry for human flesh. Um, I wouldn't call that a pack. It's one red fox. Uh, by which I mean we're going to eat it for dinner. Get out of here, fox. All right. Um, he's right there. <laughs> he's looking there menacingly. Kill him. Get him, Carl. No, not Carl. No, it's not Carl. His name is just Donitz. Um, confusion. Oh, because of her dementia. Oh, that's a, that's a sad story. Um, it is Donitz with an O, not Donitz with an umlaut. So, uh, please don't get those confused. It's very important that you actually don't get them confused. Oh, fuck this fox, honestly. Hey, piss off. Get out of there. Get out of there, Benga. I might just rename to Benga, so we're not confused about that. Nice. You can stop the battle music now. We've won. Okay, we're fine. Um, Red Fox, you feel on the leg? You should be alright from that. You don't need to use medicine or anything. You're good. Alright, speed back up, team. So we need plenty of wood to be able to build these, uh, these watermill generators. So why don't we go ahead and cut down a shit ton of wood? And actually not have it hauled back to base because we don't have to worry about that. Is she just walking around in the in the cold, not doing anything? Um, you were not the most useful colonist we could have got our hands on, eh? There you go, she's no longer confused. Hey, come out and cut some trees, now you're no longer confused. Or you could haul that fox into the freezer, whatever floats your boat, really. Or you could just play, play piss in horseshoes when we're freezing to death. We have no food source. What is wrong with you? And, no, do not allow sewing. We have bigger things to fry. Bigger, bigger things to fry? Yeah, like this fox, apparently. Good work. All right, is that another lavish meal? Oh, no, we've... Well, shit, we're running out of meals pretty quickly, eh? God damn. Um, all right, let's get these trees done. Hopefully, yeah, I was going to say, hopefully they're not going to hold that back and they're just immediately going to start working on the watermill generators instead. All right, this is good. This is going to give us a shit ton of power. These things actually produce a ridiculous amount of power, but obviously the downside to them is they're limited to only rivers. I don't know why you would never play on a map with river in Rimworld anymore. I just don't understand it. Like, they provide so many bonuses. And, like, defensively, they're good because they cut the map, you know, literally in half. Um, you got these watermill generators, which are obviously very good if you're playing with lots of fishing mods. And there are shit tons of fishing mods. In my opinion, it should be based game room more because it just makes sense. Um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a source of food as well. So there are so many upsides to them. Especially in terms of the watermill generators. They're like a really cheap early game method of producing shit tons of power. And all they really need... I mean, it's 80 steel, 3 components. Is that not the same as a windmill? Um, let's go power... Women requires so it's slightly more components but slightly less steel and a shit ton of wood wood which grows everywhere all the time it's basically an infinite resource right so these things are so good as well look at that like 1100 watts that's insane right Donuts I'm gonna get you working on the sun lamp let's, let's finish that up right now no 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 I said let's finish alright I, I guess he's gonna do other things for a sec and we'll also run some cables up into this area so that we can actually power them I was gonna get more steel right we need that hauled urgently as well um, I'm actually gonna take Donuts off of hauling urgently. Uh, Antonson can do that instead, because, you know, she's less valuable to the colony. No offense, but it's kind of the truth. All right. Have we got enough? We do have enough wood. We've got enough components. Oh, we do. We've got everything. Damn, I didn't think we'd have enough for both. Well, that solved our power problems for the, for the near distant future, I guess. Let's get this. Antonson, what did you do? You're so shit. There we go. And there's our indoor farm done as well. Now. The sheep will eat the rice, and I was kind of in—I was kind of banking on that. I was kind of expecting it to happen, right? I don't mind that. It's easier to do this whole thing out of rice and have the sheep eat the occasional crop than it is to save half it for growing grass. So at the end of the day, 
we're not going to have any leftover from this. Well, we might have leftover grass, if that makes sense. So that, that works pretty well to me. Got a nice farm set up. That worked out pretty decently. What I'd like to do is actually expand it to the extent that both of these solar lamps are a bit more useful. But that's fine. Um, so we can remove the L shape. What's that? 3 by 3 L shape from each corner. So we go like this. There we go. Just remove those so we're not wasting time growing crops that actually can't be grown. Man, this is going really, really well. Power is done. Food is sorted. We've got some engineered sheep. Like, genetically engineered sheep. How are they doing, by the way? Um... Devil Strand production, 17%. Like, really early good method of getting repeated Devil Strand. Now, it might be very, very slow, though. Yeah, it is very, very slow. But, honestly, I mean, it's Devil Strand, right? And it's, you know, reusable. All we have to do is feed it with feed it with rice. And it doesn't require that ridiculous growing skill that Devil Strand requires. So this is kind of a win-win. Bonnets is starting work on the... Why is he not repairing? Have I not sent him to repair? Uh, a sign? No, work. I will get it eventually. Hang on. Oh, I didn't set him to repair. That should be priority one. Because if our cooler breaks down, we are super fucked. Now, one of you genius has even said, instead of flooring by the windmill, you should just put solar panels by it, right? Not only is it power generation, but it also blocks trees from growing and doesn't interrupt with the windmill. That makes perfect sense. Well, I don't know why I didn't think of that myself. Uh, we've, we've wooded over it now. And we don't... I suppose we don't really have the... Oh, we do have the components and the steel for it. Shit. Huh. This worked out incredibly well. All right. Um, Do we want to build anything else? Or are we, we're in a pretty good situation, though, aren't we, really? We don't really need to do much. Um... We could build a smelter and get rid of some of the slag that we've got lying around, because we'd have a fair amount of that. Um, we could build... Don't really need to start working on the main base. This could be a visitor's house. I want to start working on the main base over by the ocean for defensive purposes. Like I said, a building it around here would be a good idea. Um, well, maybe not too close to much. Around here. Right, geothermal jenny. River in the middle of it. The river might make the base look quite nice as well. That was plenty of, uh, you know, power opportunities in that regard. Plenty of food. Yeah, I'm going to build it like here. I'll show you, show you with the plan, right? What we'll do is we'll have this kind of main area here for actual base. And then we'll have a big outer wall going around it, right? Like many, many blocks thick. Maybe not that many blocks thick. Christ. Um, we'll have like five blocks thick. Even though I think you only need a three block thick wall. I'm, I feel like the walls are... They saved us last game. And they've saved me a lot of other games as well. So what's the gap between there and there? That's five blocks as well. Again, this is just a very rough plan. Um... I'm, I'm really just making this up as I go along, really. Uh, so we want to get rid of that. that. So this is what the ultimate base is going to look like. And it is going to be the ultimate base. I don't say that lightly. We're going to have so much unethical genetics going on in here. It's going to blow your mind. All right. No, let's get rid of that. There we go. So that's, that's basically where it's going to go. Um, we're going to have some outside areas as well. So they can look around at the sky and wish they were free. Not trapped inside this prison. This this ethical uh, prison. But you know what? That's just that's just what Donuts wants to do. I don't want to hear any more of this Nazi comments in the in the in the in the comment section. So we've been discussing long-term ideas for the series in the Patreon Discord group. And I think my favorite idea so far is have it so that if someone breaks one of the rules of the colony, right? So so say Anton Sun goes on a fire starting spree. Not that she would, but if she did, what we would do is we would clone her, right? And have that clone fight another clone or a wild animal or something. If the clone wins, the clone gets to take her place in the colony. She's shot dead or harvested for her organs. Or mulched down into a putty to make a new clone out of. And then the clone takes her place and assumes her identity. It's a method of her clone, uh, you know, becoming a fully fledged human. I like that. There are so many problems with that. And I love it. That's what we're going to do. Uh, this place is going to be an absolute nightmare. I hate this animal. It looks, so like, it looks like shit. Is this base game RimWorld? I hope not. My god. <laughs> <laughs> Arctic lion, who drew this? Um, should we kill it? I mean, it's getting kind of... It's, it's, it's iron up my sheep. Um, 19%, Jesus, this is going to take so long. Now, we also want to get... Oh, do we even want to get this geothermal generator done if we're using it for its, its... Its crop potential? Oh, all our crops are dead. Sheeps keep letting the fucking snow in. Hey, don't do that. Sit in here and starve. Unless they ate it. They might have also eaten it. Well, rest in peace, Anton's son. Oh, God, this is really bad. Um... A lynx? Where is Anton? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, this, is, this is really tragic, but I can't stop laughing. Run. For fuck's sake, run. Run. Oh, God. It's after her. Donuts, you need to come save her. Oh, Christ. Run. Okay, we're good. That's it. Scare it off. Go on. Shoot it. Shoot it fucking... Hey, piss off. Stupid lynx. I'm coming in, my friend. Uh, you need to get into bed quickly. Is she... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Torso, gunshot, charge rifle. That damn links. They're evolving. Uh, Prior is tended to. Yeah, let's, let's go and patch her up a little bit. Right, okay. Um, the rice is not, not really working, eh? I feel like the sheep are eating it a little bit. Oh, I didn't allow it sowing. Ugh. What an idiot. All right. That, I was wondering why that rice wasn't growing. I guess that's answered my question, eh? I've also put a heater in there because it's really not staying that warm. Even though I've forbidden the sheep to go out that door, they have to go via the bedroom instead. Um, 
They aren't getting enough food from outside, though. Otherwise, I can't really imagine why they would go outside. All right, let's get that planted. Um, are you all right? Do you really need to lie in bed? I know you're 90 years old, you have dementia and a gunshot in your arm and a gunshot in your torso is actually done by a main cause, but I don't think you need to lie in bed anymore. I think you're just being lazy. Then you, you complain about these millennials. Hey, get to work. Go and plant my rice, you little shit. All right, how long until our microelectronics are done? Years. Huh. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything else we can build in the meantime. What about beehives? I want some beehives. Honey centrifuge. Uh, used to extract honey and wax. Okay, we've got wooden bee house. We'll generate honeycombs for you. I want bees. I've decided I want bees. Right, bees, bees, bees. Well, we've we'll got three beehives, a beekeeping workbench. This sounds lovely. You know what? She needs something to do in her spare time. Keep some bees for me. Keep some horrible, potentially murderous, genetically engineered bees. Obviously, they're not genetically engineered yet, so she can't really complain. Let's, uh, uh, keep, <laughs> keep my Africanized honeybees. Oh, man, we need more wood. Story of my life. All right, let's go and chop down some more trees. All right. Uh, I wonder if we can turn them into a bio weapon. That'd be kind of cool. Donuts, you're getting it. It's getting out of hand again. Honestly, Donut, you got to. Uh, my internal monologue is now Donuts' internal monologue as well. You got to keep this under wraps. You can't ask if you can weaponize the bees. Okay. Right. Let's get this built. No, actually, get it built though. <clears throat> Sorry. Hang on a sec. There we go. All right. Let's see what we can do with this bee. Something just died, and I'm not sure what it was. Well, that's tomorrow's problem. Beekeeping workbench. All right. Bills. Preserve vegetables with honey. Preserve meat with honey. That doesn't sound right. Um, make kibble from bees? No. 50 drones. You can turn them into kibble. Extract from temperate hive. Extract from mild hive. Right. Uh, so we take we, we take the bees out, for, like good-natured bees from their hive, and put them into a cook simple honey meal. Oh. Fresh honey, a toasted bread slice, and a glass of cold mineral water. That sounds delicious. Ingredients. 0.5 bee honeys. Oh, I thought that said honey bees at the start. Yeah, I don't think you really refer to it as honeys, but that's just me. Um, simple. Lavish. Good. Um, and we can also put, cook, bulk cook that. I want to get some hives now. I want to I want to grow some bees. Right, someone keep your eye out for a beehive. What the fuck are those? Spectigo? My god, I thought it was some alien creature. Uh, bees. <gasps> yeah, nice. Uh, how do we get that? Harvest? Donuts, get me some bees. Is he going to come under attack? Oh, God, please don't come under attack. Huh. Okay, we got it. Nice. Okay. Haul that. It's a temperate hive. That sounds pretty good to me. I feel like mild is probably worse than temperate. Right, get that in there. I will find other beehives. So we'll just double click on it, right? Just double double click. Dead tree with hive. Select similar. Uh, Do we get any? Dead oh, okay, right. So let's go just mouse over the whole fucking map. Give me these bees. Now, I saw another one there somewhere. It's at these red hives. Okay. Select similar. Pass over the whole map. Boom. Harvest. All right. Are there any other beehive types that I'm missing? Um, just have a quick pan round here and up my bit rate. Uh, not that I can see. What is that? There's one of those aliens in the tree again. Um, no, that seems to be it. All right. We'll wait and see how that goes. I can't see any other hives at all. Maybe I have to travel to different areas. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, it's a dead deer. Nice. I thought it was some big horrible monster, like a, me a mechanoid monster. Weird. Okay, go get those beehives for me, and then we'll grow... Freezing? What does that mean? I don't want to freeze them. Oh, because it's warm. Oh, because it's cold. That's the opposite of warm. Uh, no, 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 that's not right at all. Extract, extract, do forever, do forever. Don't hit, don't hit. Under, what? Under required skill three? I know those words, but in that order, that makes no sense. What does that mean? Under Animal skill, maybe? Yeah, okay. Uh, An Anson? She can keep the bees. Oh, that's wholesome. And you guys thought there was something wrong with Carl Donitz. Uh, Donitz Benga. Maybe that's... Maybe that's. Oh, God, don't freeze the bee. Temperate drone? It's very fucking temperate now. You might say quite chilly. Um, what? Can we put them in the beehive? Uh, insert queen. Temperate queen. Someone insert this queen. There we go. Um, insert drone. Oh, this is cool. I like it. Um, so we have queen, drone, temperate drone. So I assume one drone doesn't mean one drone. I assume it means multiple drones. Because you can't really have a bee colony with one bee and a, one drone. Stop due to temperature. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Needy bees. All right. Oh, okay, fine. Whatever. Okay, deconstruct these. Let's get them... <laughs> Can fucking rebuild somewhere else. Put them in here. Put them where we can't grow crops. That makes sense. Right. Bees and sheep. 
I love that this is supposed to be a genetic engineer and I've just turned into a friggin' farmer. Got some pet polar bears, that's weird. Oh, don't mind my fucking dinosaur. Uh, Bracky, was this not the guy we spoke to last time? Uh, I don't think so. Let's go and talk to him. Hey, can we buy your dinosaur? Run, catch him. Hello. Oh, no, they were passing through. I thought they were leaving. We could get ourselves some pet polar bears. Honestly, no. <laughs> that sounds like a pain in the ass. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. We'll sell him some crap. What, what do you have for sale? Mechanoid controller belt. A remote control belt that can be used to control mechanoids that have their locomotion system hacked. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Big psychic foil hat. Um, reduces the impact of psychic waves. But how am I supposed to know the frogs are gay if I don't have my psychic... If, if, I, if I'm wearing my psychic hat. Alright. Um, okay, go and get these bees built. I want, I want to see what these bees are like. I want to see what they do for us. Anything that automatically produces resources is, is a win in my book. Hey, get that done. Right, and then work on those. Then I need you to delicately extract some bees. Now, we don't have a smoker or anything, but everybody knows that you don't really need a smoker to extract bees. They just wear that because it looks fun. Um, right. What's wrong with that beehive? Oh, it's a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that would explain it. Extract the bees. Oh, God, they're freezing. Uh, insert, insert bee. Insert drone. Temperate drone. Go, ant and sun. Go, Don. Go, one of you. For fuck's sake, my bees, they're freezing. Um, insert queen. Temperate queen. Don't, aren't you supposed to put in the queen first? No! Ironically, the temperate queen was destroyed by temperature. God fucking damn it, really? Ah, oh, I'm so annoyed. Um. Oh. Now the problem is that beehive now can't be interacted with because we half inserted a bee. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Uh, quick. Uh, insert. No, 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 no. Insert, 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 insert. No, no, no. Cancel that one. Cancel that one. No, 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 insert the, insert the fucking... One of you, insert this damn drone. Building snowman. Well, I suppose it'll be alright on the floor for a while. Which is not working. Insert temperate drone. Right, there we go. Maybe it's because I started to pick him up. Alright, it's a little bit temperamental. It's a little bit temperamental, no pun intended. What the fuck is that? Dilophosaurus. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> pleasure, to, pleasure to meet you, Mr. Dilophosaurus. Please don't eat me, or my dementia-ridden grandma. Um... Where is a bee? Where is it? There's a bee. Right, prioritize cutting that down. Bonnets, it's up to you, my friend. Now, when you've cut down this bee, because we know that temperature kills bee, I would like you to... Oh, carry it back to base. That's fine. Okay, I was going to say pick up the bee. Seriously? They can live upon a tree in in infinitely. But if we try and carry them back to base, they die. Unbelievable. Right, cut down this one then. I know what to do. Okay, your boy has a plan. Right. Get this, get this cut down. Right. S stop. Right, put that, put that fucking hive down. Drop it. Put that down. No! Right, uh, pick up. Put it in your pocket. There we go. It can't freeze when it's in its pocket. I mean... Help me. Now we can't have bees. We can't have bees until the winter's over. And by the way, it's a permanent winter. So uh, don't get your hopes up for bees anytime soon. I'm so angry. That one's close to base. We might be able to get ourselves a bee. Now run! Haul with it! Run, you fool! Fly! Oh, we actually got one. Oh, nice. Okay, right. Uh, Antonson, get me some bees. Okay, don't leave them on the floor. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, right. Uh, blood? Are the bees stinging her? Health? Nope, definitely no stinging bees here. All right, go and put in this one. Insert queen. Temperate queen. Who's going to do that? One of my boys. Nice. Hey, look at that. Stop due to temperature needs... What? What the fuck are you talking about? It's clearly 23 degrees. Don't tell me it goes by the outdoors temperature. That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense. Stop due to temperature. 0 to 30 degrees. 21 degrees. Oh, unless that's 0 minus 30 degrees. So it needs minus 30. I see. Well, this is what you get for using Celsius, you fucking backwards fools. Um, that's a joke, obviously. <clears throat> In Britain we use. World Beehive Mild has been destroyed by temperature. Goodbye, mild bees. Mild queen. Okay, maybe that's the taste of the honey rather than the taste of the bee. Right, rather than the, temp the, the nature of the bee. Because you would imagine that bees wouldn't have a particularly... So we got mild... What happens if we put a temperate drone with a mild queen? I'm already starting the, the eugenics program. Bonnets, you can't be trusted. Even with the bees, you're a genetic freak. Out here, God is dead. A pack of man-hunting squirrels have entered the area. That... No! Anton's son. Anton's son, flee. 
<laughs> of course they'd spawn him right next to her. Run, Antonson. You need to go back to safety. Don't trust those. I don't think... I actually don't... Oh, my God. There's two of them. She is fucking dead. Oh, my God. Save her. Save her. She's, she's down. All right. Careful. Nice. Scores are dead. Please. Rescue her. How's she doing? Health? She's fucked. Death in five hours. She is, she is royally fucked. Oh, it's all right. She's on ice. She's freezing. She'll be okay. Get her back. Bring her home. Okay. Uh, patch her up. 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 All right. She's fine. Death in ten hours. Oh, and that was the time we almost lost one of our own... Half of our colony to squirrels. And that's not even hyperbole. Stopped due to inclement weather? You're in a fucking barn. What are you talking about? I did roof over this, didn't I? I'm not going completely insane. No, that's definitely... Inclement weather is, uh, like, excessively rainy or excessively... Uh, excessive precipitation. They're in a friggin' barn. What are you talking about, inclement weather? You can shut up. Why is she training the U? Wait, tameness? Oh! Yeah, no, we probably do need those... Wild beehive mild has been destroyed by temperature? What are you doing? Oh, God. He's already cutting down the rest of the beehives. Fleeing? They've all gone mad. They've all gone insane. Take it out. There we go. Right, get it, get it. Finish it off and eat it for dinner, for fuck's sake. Show it who's alpha. Come on, Donitz, you're a Darwinist, aren't you? All right, um, in case I can butcher that hair. Get fucked here. Oh my god, we're out of food. Oh, hang on though. We've got rice. The rice is grown. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, I was really worried then for a second, but we should be good. Mm-mm, my favorite, rice. With one part kibble. For this recipe, we're going to call this the Donut Surprise. This recipe requires 40 watt rice and one handful of dog food. Mmm. You absolute madman. Why would you not just eat the rice? What is wrong with you? <laughs> That's so good. Right, okay. So, we're going to start working on a tailor bench. Why are we working on a tailor bench? Well, Donuts, like I said a couple of episodes ago, needs warm clothes. Good turns out a duster and a cowboy hat, not really suitable. For uh, living in the Arctic. Oh, well, not really the Arctic, but it might as well be the damn Arctic. All right, let's cut down some trees and let's build ourselves a tailor bench. His research is never going to get done. There's so many distractions. We've got bees and clothes. Trout is beginning his assault. Bring it, Trout. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Uh, kill him. Kill him, though. Kill him. Oh, run. Nice. Uh, did he get you? Bashed him in the arm. You're fine. Go and heal up, my friend. Nothing to worry about. Alright, so you didn't get an infection or anything, seeing as I'm forcing you to not rest in bed. No, she's absolutely fine. Like, a really good treatment on, on all accounts. 89%, uh, 95%, 96%. This guy's so good. Like, genuinely the best doctor. Which is probably not a good thing, all things considered. Given the, given the nefarious plans he got, that's probably actually awful. Oh, we got plenty of food now. I thought we were going to die this winter, but we're actually fine. Good work, team. Um, Something else just died. Oh, that, that fox ate that raccoon. Of course it would. Why wouldn't it? Okay, so let's go, Bills. Uh, now, how much cotton have we got? We've got 70 cloth. Shit. Um, make a jacket. That's good for temperature, right? Insulation against the cold, 14.4. Is that really all we can make? What about a parka? 36. Yeah, that's what we want. Make one um, for you, Donitz. Anton's son apparently doesn't need warm clothes. It's one of your... Hold on. It literally just says him, even though she's wearing... What's she wearing? Gear? Oh, she's, she's wearing a, a parka already. Okay, fair enough then. Um, you go work on that. Need, need materials. Oh shit, we don't have enough. Oh god damn it, really? Uh, what about a toque? Can we make a toque? A soft, thick cap. Great for keeping warm in the winter. Make me a toque. Or make yourself a toque, I should say. Alright. Um, drop that toque. Hey, put that toque down. And force wear it. Oh god, he looks so, so much less threatening. He looks so much less like a Nazi crazed doxer without the, the whole black cowboy hat thing going on. Alright, we're going to grab some corn. Corn, as we found out from last series, is the most nutritious of all the foods, the deliciousest of the foods, and it doesn't go well with kibble, which is great, because it might put Donitz off of his dog food addiction. Right, let's get this built. Now, corn lasts forever. It is also, like I said, the highest nutrition, so I've dedicated the most of the growing area to that. Plus, rice grows so quickly anyway, we're going to get shit tons of that, even with this very small area. Plus, it's only for two people. Like, we've got, what is that, 36 meals in storage right now? We're, we're absolutely fine in terms of food. Um, there is a raccoon just lying there. There's also a, a man lying there. Why is Antonsa not doing any of her jobs? Is it because she's too busy working on the farm? I guess so. Now, Donitz should be researching at this stage. Where is he? Cooking. Oh, cooking is understandable. That's absolutely fine. Um, I'd prefer it if we didn't starve to death this winter. Harvesting poplar tree. Why are you not... No, 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 no. You need to be doing nothing but research. Oh my god, he's gone up to 16 research. 
suppose he has been just sat there doing nothing but research since he got here. So that's fair enough. You can actually see his uh, his XP points going up here. So when he starts researching and when he's done playing fucking Hoopla, um, you can actually see here. Look at that. Look at how fast his XP is going up. Within no time, we should get him up to a, a 20 intellectual. He's so good. Man, I didn't realize how powerful having a double passion in something was. What the fuck do you mean? A huge spider-like creature called a blizzarisk has, has wandered through. Seems to be a much bigger size than usual. Oh, it's not actually that big. I thought that was going to be massive, but it's it's kind of a little bit unimpressive. Um, female blizzarisk clutch mother. Now, it's carrying a group of eggs, so I, I assume that's the reason we're supposed to kill it. Uh, sure. Don't it. Don't it. Go put it out of its misery. I, I don't want a shit ton of these things breeding in my territory. That would be awful. Where is he? Come on, hurry up. Jesus, it's one spider. Okay, get behind this one. Get ready to run and gun, my friend, because this thing's going to be angry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, it's got so much health. Don it. Run forever, young man. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, he's got it. He's actually taking it down. Man, he got very, very lucky, the fact that he shot it in its legs there. Deal with it. Just, just finish it off, dude. Honestly, I can't be dealing with this fucking giant spider shit. Now, I assume these butcher into meat. Uh, into insect meat, so we're gonna forbid that then and just let it let it rot away. Or oh, actually, it's frozen, isn't it? The whole damn place is frozen. Um. Oh well, that's fine. We don't need to worry about it too much. A lynx is attacking after being harmed. That wasn't me. Oh, it was a trade caravan. Right. Oh my god, they've all got bloody Brachiosaurus. Where are you getting them? Are you the same people again? Trade with them. Purple lagoon tribe. I I don't think it is, but it could be. Um. Selling concrete. They're selling. Oh, they're just selling blocks. Just a shit ton of blocks, eh? Um. We don't really need anything, I'm going to be honest with you. I might say the iron wood. I think I really want iron wood. Um, the steel, we absolutely need. Concrete, we apparently got eight of, but they've got a lot of concrete. Concrete, we can use to build nuclear power plants. So, I mean, in the future it'll be worth it, but honestly, you guys have really got nothing right now. Um, I need to look up exploits to kill passing traders without us being blamed for it. Because these guys... Oh, dangerous temperature. That could be something to do with it. We build a big, long maze, and they freeze to death? Hang on. That's a really good idea. They all get frostbite and just die. Ah, good idea, brain. Okay, firmly grasp it. Pow, pow, yeah. All right, finish it off. Um, I want to turn it into a doormat and also a coat, both of which will be very, very useful, because working in this indoor farm is traipsing mud all the way through the house, especially where the sheep go. You can sort of plot their path just based on the amount of mud kicking around. Right, um, haul him. Yeah, yeah, don't leave your meal on the floor, but actually get him hauled. Right, psychic drone low female. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Poor Anton, she's not been through enough. Right, can we butcher that and actually get some warm clothes? 60, that might be enough. No, wait, it wasn't, was it? Because we had 60 cloth and that wasn't enough. Shit, we need to hunt another Arctic lion now. Um, wildlife. We've got plenty of muff. We could hunt some muffalo. That makes some nice muffalo clothes, a muffalo doormat. This is a good idea. Here we are. Donitz, the big game hunter. Buffalo revenge, that's fine. One down. Only another four to go, and then we should be able to make him a nice coat. Uh, surely these things drop more. 63. That doesn't seem like very much. We got the same amount of fur from an Arctic lion as we did from an entire muffalo. That doesn't make sense. All right, he's, he's stalking them through the swamp. Watch out for that bear. I actually do watch out for that bear, and it's pet squirrel. All right, that's two down. Um, minor break risk was that. Animal starvation. What the fuck you on about? There's so much... Oh, wait, can we plant potatoes and corn? Maybe they need rice. Rice is a type of grass. Okay, I'll plant rice instead then. I'll plant potatoes because they're more hardy and it would be a nice, nice, you know, different meal for them. But fuck it, they might actually need need rice in hindsight. Um, playing horseshoes. Yeah, no, I need you to not kill my sheep to death. There we go. See if they'll eat that instead then. Come on, time for dinner. No? What's wrong with you? You were eating it before. Maybe they weren't. I'm not sure. We need to keep an eye on that then. Did he finish making that coat? What did he do with it? Did Anton son immediately steal it? Blue Fur Siege Parker, good. She actually did just steal his brand new coat. That's unbelievable. There you go, alright. Go, go and haul that one. Right, everyone's warm now. Look at this, no notifications. This might be the first time I've ever seen that in RimWorld. So not have any notifications at the side. Impressive. Um, now the sheep- Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Why? What's wrong with your stuff? Oh, she put on his damn Parker? What is wrong with you? Where did she... Wait, where did she put the other coat that we just made? Oh, for fuck's sake. Horseware. Wait. Siege Parker? Oh, it's got a... Oh, wow, look at that. Aiming time. Market... Oh, okay, right. No, 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 no. You don't get that. Donitz gets that one. You get the other one. Right. Forceware that one. Oh, but that one's also called a... Scribing Parker. What does that do? Global work speed plus 115%. Okay, no, that's way better. No, no, no. 
You fuck off. You come and get this one instead. Damn it, I wanted to wear both. Man, this mod is very cool. We gotta take off the ever protecting duster duster though, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, she put it in the wardrobe. Ah, that's what wardrobes are for. That's very cool. Okay, I'm really glad we got this though. 115% work speed is obviously very, very good. It's 15% bonus. It doesn't increase it by 115%, unless it does. Maybe they fucked it up. Um, yeah. Uh, information. No, it is just 115%. We're fine. Thank you for watching. Weird episode today. Lots of different little weird things happening involving bees and a big old angry spider, that type of thing. But unfortunately, you know, it's, it's the early game of Brimworld. I'm, I'm trying to keep it interesting as where I can by just showing the most important bits. Besides that, all we're doing is researching and growing crops. So hopefully it'll start picking up soon. We'll go into our genetic research area of it soon because we're going to have our microelectronics bench built. That's when it's going to get cool. Shout out to my big insane top tier level patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Salting, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Jackson Whitman, Escape, Croesus, James Ogilvy, Paul, Conspired Scene, Necrophilum, Michael Mullen, Haydog, Orcswolf, Jocelyn, Dean Tesla, Logan Thorne, Average Gamer 419, and I'm Eliz King Paul that support the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you very much. And a big shout out to Nathaniel Lindberg, Fecundo Vasquez, Felix Deal, Quet Lutchley, Brandon Montoniak, Paul Master, Evergreen is Waifu, Quasar Fox, Chris, Joseph Beer, Seth All the Swede, Nick, Sedini, Asura, Jack Allen, Euphrates, Jordan Campbell, Yon the Breeze, Don Connie 27, Nathan Flores, and the many, many others over at Patreon. Thank you all for your support.